You want to win the lottery? Start investing. I think he realizes it's addictive. Just like I'm addicted to shopping. You have that. We're Don't not getting that out of this right now. Come on. A gale force win. <laughs> no, really it can't be true. and I'm currently working as a server and I have my university degree in marketing. I'm a tool and die maker. There could be a ton of work at a certain shop, but there could be none, you know? We have approximately 50,000 in debt. I bought a budget book one time. My bank card actually bounced when I was buying the budget book at the bookstore. I'm dead serious. We don't have too much to show for it, which isn't too great. Well, my relationship with credit is good up till now. One of my credit cards is actually above maximum. Maybe you should quit trying to use them, eh? So I've spent a lot of money on clothing and tanning. You've got a black person, you're me. I am obsessed with fashion. You have that. I like to wear clothing about three or four times, maybe, and then I get bored with it, and I like to wear something new. I spend maybe up to $200 a week on clothing. My guilty pleasure, I think, is uh, gambling. I probably gamble 80 bucks a week. How did you pay for them? Put it on the credit card. Well, I look at gambling as investing money. We will just have a large Hawaiian pizza. For the past year, we've probably eaten it like 300 times or something. We have one credit card that you can only use at a department store or at a certain gas station. At that gas station, you can purchase gift cards for our favorite restaurant. We went for dinner with our friends and we didn't get paid until the next day. We were really tight for money and the gift card was declined. I don't really worry about the debt because I know it's repayable. We're lost, we need a budget, and we just need some serious help, <laughs> we really do. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now I'm making house calls. Jillian and Edward are newlyweds. At the ages of 24 and 26, they're acting like spoiled children. Their sense of entitlement has led them to rack up huge amounts of debt, which they don't take seriously because they think they have the rest of their lives to pay it off. But they're dangerously close to the precipice. I think I've arrived here just in time. Hi. Hi. So this is a nice place, but tiny. Tiny? Well, it's our first home, right? It is a first home. Yeah. And why is it so well decorated? Is this because you have exquisite taste? Of course. No, it came <laughs> with all the furniture. <laughs> OK, so you've been in here now for about a month. We have little room. This is a tiny closet, and this does not reflect what Jill spends on clothes. When do you have time to shop? Oh, this I morning. Mean, you... No, what? You gotta... you not. I had to go <laughs> get the I had to go get the mail from the post office because yes. we're Don't not getting it out of our mailbox. this right now. Come on, spit it out. Oh. And then, so she saw her new Visa card come. Because the other in the one mail. expired, right? And it was cut up, anyways. I haven't used it in probably eight months. But what? they let me go Shush. over. All right. Go ahead. So she opened it up, saw the new card. Yes. And you were actually outside, and she was online buying a pair of jeans. <laughs> <laughs> In six months, I'm gonna get it once before she takes it away, I and then I'll never her. use it again. Bless you. And then I'll I, never I use told it again. Her, I'm telling Gail about that. <laughs> and I said you wouldn't. And then I said I'll get you a pair of jeans too. You think you're ready for this? Yep. You think you're ready? Yeah, for I'm see? ready. I want to prove that you I can you're do this. Ready to see how deep this hole is. Every month, you are spending over twelve hundred dollars on stuff. Drug stores, convenience stores, online stuff, booze, <laughs> salon and tanning. Six hundred dollars no. in the department. Excuse me. Six hundred. Five fifty-eight sixty-nine. Spending wildly. No, that's crazy. Aren't you the guy who likes to buy lottery tickets? Sometimes. Putting it on your credit card. Sometimes. 
$60 a week, slapped away, till you retire, million bucks. Not making it up. You want to win the lottery? Start investing. A million bucks in 40 years is like, if you're lucky to be alive, you know? Let's talk a little about the debt. Here's a consolidation loan for almost $28,000. But that was smart consolidating it, no? It was very smart to consolidate it, assuming yeah. you didn't go up and run it up again. No, I know. Show me the ring. Yeah. It's beautiful. How much was the ring? It's Eleven and a half. For last year's taxes, you were paying about $700 a month. You had a debt repayment of over $1,400 a month. You were spending $236 a month on interest Just and interest. fees for a total of almost $2,400 a month, which represented 41% of your income. Wow. There's no point in having an aggressive debt repayment program if that doesn't leave you enough to live on. That'll just end up driving you back to your credit. That's one reason why I recommend that people spend no more than 15% of their take-home income repaying their debt. You're going over budget every month by $3,359 every month. And with your existing debt, mm -hmm. if you keep overspending, you'll be over $600,000 in debt in five years. Do you believe that you are in a big enough mess that yeah. it's going to take a significant change in behavior? Obviously. Yeah. Do you promise me that you will do whatever I say to get yourself out of this mess? Yeah. I, will, I promise. So over the next month, I'm going to give you a series of challenges. Mm -hmm. You do the challenges, I'll mm -hmm. give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down your debt. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. Yeah. The very next thing I want you to do, mm -hmm. Credit cards. Yeah. Coming up, can Jillian and Edward complete my first challenge? Or will they fold under the pressure? You're not, you can't. I can. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Jill and Ed are newlyweds acting like spoiled children. They don't believe in saving money, and their idea of investing in the future is buying lottery tickets. I look at gambling as investing money, because I'm going to hit the jackpot one time. Their family has turned off the money tap. All right, I'm babe. not giving you any more money, though. I'm really not. I know. I'm paying for it. Okay. Extras like takeout are going to be the first things to go when they start living by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars to pay down their debt. No changes, no money. Give me those credit cards. <sighs> I'm cutting your variable spending back from $4,800 a month to just under $1,400 a month. Wow. Was, you know that $1,200 and change you were blowing on stuff? That's right. That's virtually what you're going to have to live on for a month. Because you've sort of ballparked this, haven't you, Ed? Yeah. You think? Probably wrong on a couple of <laughs> $150 a week for food, $115 for transportation, $25 for entertainment. I think I had 25. $50. Ah! $31.25 for clothing and gifts. You're not going to have any money to go shopping. I know, I realize that. That's fine. And then, you know that cute dog you have? He gets $22. That's good. <laughs> because you're going to be living on cash, you have to write it down. Can we interchange jars and stuff? You sure can. OK, good. How do you feel about this? It's good. We need it. We can do it. Good. Well, I'm going to give you your challenge next. I can't You're ready wait. for that? I'm ready. <laughs> You're pretty excited. I am. I want to hear it. <laughs> this is officially your debt reduction challenge. You have to figure out what payments you have to make every month to have your debt paid off in, count them, no more than four years. Four years. That'd be nice. Jillian has just gotten her degree. She thinks that once she gets a job in her chosen field, paying off this debt will be easy. Of course, she has to get that job first. Now, you'll be going out on job interviews this of week. Of course, I will. Okay, you know what? Pick me out 
two outfits yep. that you would wear to your job interview. I, I can want do to that. see. Great. Well, I'd wear that suit. That's cute. And a top to go with it. And then I'd wear a blouse with it, right? Yeah. That's very I cute. That. Yeah, you have good taste. Thanks. For a person that's a size zero. Just a pair of black dress pants? Yes. And another collared shirt. That's cute. Yeah. The nice thing about this is these things all coordinate. Get back out here. No, exactly, but okay. once I got the job, I'd invest in more, right? Come here. You hold on to these for a minute. It's only the end of day one, and already Jillian is planning more shopping. I don't think she's taking this very seriously, so you know what? I'm going to hit her where it really hurts. I'm taking the rest of her clothes away. You're not! You can't! I can. You can't! I can, and I will. Not for real. My for whole real. closet? Your whole closet. This is a great idea, Gail. No, it's not! Gail, you can't! We're having a housewarming party tomorrow. That's so oh. cruel! <laughs> Gail, this is a bit extreme. <laughs> Gail, you do it to me. Forget it. I don't know. Whatever. I gotta take a break. Okay. I'm right back. I'm wear a business suit or a housewarming party. I don't know. I just found that she ragged on me a lot harder for spending when he spent just as much money as me on all the debt we have. Okay, grand total, 53041 Which credit card should we pay off first? Maybe we should check the interest for all of them. Yeah, I'm sure. that's a good idea. What surprised me the most were the interest rates and the credit cards even. The, well, I didn't know his one credit card was that high, and neither did he, so it's kind of scary not to know that. Annual interest rate, 28.8%. 28. It's a lot of interest we're paying. Definitely gives me a sense of how we got here. Is that 120 a month enough for your clothes? It has to be. It sucks. For me, the hardest is clothing, obviously. I don't think that's too hard to figure out. Jill really misses her clothes, so I brought her to my office to visit them. So here we are, surrounded by all the clothes that I you know. go from Jill last week. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't even realize you had this many clothes. No, some things I forgot I had. And you managed to live on just yeah. three of it. I did, I was fine. Wasn't that bad, actually? Oh. I don't know, I thought it was, no. it was really... No! It can't be true! It's really mad at first, at right? the fuss you put up last week? Well, it was a bad time of the month, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like emotional and unstable, but I was over it the next day, so... Yeah, I haven't missed my clothes as much as I thought. I'm learning a lesson. <laughs> For real, it's cheesy, but I am. I mean, actually, we went to the bank yesterday. Yes. So we were there for a we couple hours. We got a joint account. We got a joint account. You still have $40 in this budget for gambling? Well, I won this week. Yeah, he won this week. You gambled after I told you not to? No, no, no. <laughs> before you got there, I made a few bets. Uh, and, uh, the day before, I think. You owe $50,000, Edward? Yeah. And you think you're going to clear that debt if you place a few bets? No. The gambling, I think he'll stop the gambling. I think he realizes it's addictive. Just like I'm addicted to shopping, we just kind of have to stop these addictions. You're probably ready for what you have to do this week. <laughs> I'm scared. Are you? No, I can handle it. I'm not going to freak out this time. This week's challenge is called the Future Plan Challenge. You may want a home in the country. Mm -hmm. You may want a baby or two. You may want to be debt free. Whatever it is you want, I want you to create a picture of it in collage form. On the back of the collage, you're going to itemize the specific things that you want, and then you're going to put a price tag on them for me. OK. So that we can see what the rest of your life is going to cost okay. you. OK, I kind of like that. Good. We talk about where we want to be in five years all the time, but we've never really had any numbers to show how much we need to save. Coming up. How much will Jill and Ed's dream life really cost? We're just gonna have to work really hard. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Newlyweds Jillian and Edward are shopping and gambling their way into a big financial mess. Their current debt is $53,000, and that's not including their mortgage. So that's what we have to figure out. They can pay off some of that debt with one big $5,000 payment if they succeed at my challenges. This week, they need to think hard about what they want their futures to look like. 
and then figure out what it will cost them. This is what I want, right? Yeah, this is nice. It's I like amazing. it. Smile. We want at least one kid, right? And we want another dog. So let's say ten thousand dollars to drink premium beer my entire life. This really makes you think what you want, eh? Please have people over. Mm -hmm. And having our own sailboat would be amazing. Let's exactly. get rid of traveling the world. Yeah, but maybe it's worth it, the money you lose, right? That experience. Well, we're just going to have to work really hard. For week three, I again met with Jillian and Ed at the production office. So what will this life cost you? Uh, we haven't tallied it all up, but about half of it's going to cost $1.7 <laughs> Now, what's interesting about this is that there's a lot of stuff on here. Yeah, where are the babies? Well, there's a cute little baby on the front here. Okay, but you haven't priced it out. How many babies are you having? One or two, one to two. The average baby costs $250,000 to get it out of the house. But the way you shop, see the designer outfit? Well, he's gonna be decked out. I like know he is. So you're talking about a $400,000 baby, you know? That's Over a lifetime. Time. All right, so you know what? It's time for your next challenge. See the space we're in? Mm -hmm. Very creative space. Mm -hmm. Lots of ideas get sold in this boardroom. And you have a big idea you're going to have to sell to. This week's challenge is a relationship rescue challenge. But you guys have a good relationship, right? So it's not your relationship we're going to try and rescue here. It's the relationship you have with all the people in your lives. This is going to be hard for you. But you know how I picked on her? The first week we were together, I'm picking on you now. You're going to have to come out of your shell because you have to sell the new and improved Jill. So I'm selling him and he's yes. selling me? Yes. Oh, this will be funny. Yes. There's some things about Ed that I'd like to change, like the gambling and stuff like that, so it'll be fun. I think Jillian will definitely have an easier time with this challenge because she has a marketing background and yeah, she's, hers is gonna be really good. Coming up, the new Jill and Ed. Will anyone buy it? <laughs> In their first year of marriage, Jill and Ed are struggling with $53,000 of debt, plus a mortgage on their first home. She loves shopping, and he's hooked on sports betting. Their family and friends are fed up. I'm not giving you any more money, though. I'm really not. If they want to turn this around, they'll have to convince family and friends they have a new outlook on life. And that pitch could be worth $5,000 to help them pay down their debt. You all know why you're here. This is the old ad right here. Drinking premium beer, partying all the time, gambling away hundreds of dollars a month, not even winning. So now Miss Gail Vaz Oxlade has come into our lives and she's made some major changes. She set us on a big budget and Ed has stuck to that. He has become quite responsible with his money and he set some big goals for himself. Well, with all that said, the big man of the hour, the one, the only. Before we have the old Jill, still in her cocoon, worried about image, shopping and tanning, spending her money. She only wore things three times. Then one month ago, a gale force wind <laughs> came over our home and spun this little caterpillar out of her cocoon into the butterfly you see before us. And she stopped worrying so much about makeup and her image and everything, and now she has goals, going natural, saving her money, and soon will be debt free. This beautiful butterfly can fly freely. The new Jill. What a surprise. Thank he you. did really good. He really came in. I on, know. Came into his own. Mm -hmm. I got here. You were headed to $600,000 worth of debt. Mm -hmm. I set aside in your new budget $1,800 a month for debt repayment. Mm -hmm. You have to do that, guys. I know. We yeah. know. OK? We know. OK, so $1,800 a month for debt repayment mm -hmm. means that in a year, four of your creditors will be paid off, and you will be completely debt free in another two years. That's amazing. Amazing, I can't wait. <laughs> I also have in your budget mm -hmm. money set aside for savings. $100 a month for emergencies, mm -hmm. $800 a month for retirement savings, long-term savings. Wow. 
If you put that $900 away every month mm -hmm. in retirement savings, by the time you're ready to retire in 40 years, you'll have $1.6 million. Oh, yes. <laughs> so this month, what we've managed to do is clean up the financial mess you made, mm -hmm. set some goals mm -hmm. for the future, and demonstrate it to your family that you've turned over a new leaf. Mm -hmm. $5,000. Okay, so okay. you take that. Thank you so much. But you have to promise me. We put that to the death. Uh, and we stay with the budget. If you go oh, to the no death, I do. <laughs> the second thing is yeah. we've set you up with an interview coach. Oh, okay, great. To help you develop the presentation of yourself okay, that will perfect. get you a job. Perfect. But we've also set you up with a retail marketing expert. Oh. So that you can have a sense of That's what amazing. you need to know going in. That's amazing. Okay, so this is all your background research to get yourself a fabulous job. Perfect, okay. So on top of the money mm -hmm. and all the fabulous stuff, you get your clothes back. Yeah. <laughs>